So before you begin taking data, you're going to need to focus all the different parts of your spectrometer properly. We're going to start by focusing the telescope. However, to focus the telescope, you're going to need to be able to point it out a window so you can look at some distant object like a tree or the mountains. So you'll be invited to take your spectrometer into another room, prop it up on some boxes, and then point the telescope out the window. You should orient things like this so that the collimator is not going to be in your way and you don't want the prism here because you want the telescope to have an unobstructed view out the window. Once you've got it set up like this, then the first thing you're going to do is you're going to check that the crosshairs are in focus. So you should grab the little eyepiece and slide it in and out a little bit. And you'll see that the crosshairs go in and out of focus as you do that. So get them looking as dark and sharp as possible in your field of view. And then you're going to focus the telescope itself. And you do that via this knob here. So point the telescope at some distant object, like a tree, and then you adjust your focus knob here until the tree or the object looks in sharp focus. However, that may not actually be the correct focus exactly. So in order to get the best focus, you're going to next want to try to eliminate parallax. What that means is that you would look through your telescope You'd wiggle your face back and forth a little bit and you check whether the crosshairs and the distant object that you're looking at seem to be moving back and forth in sync when you move your face back and forth. So it shouldn't look like the crosshairs are moving more than the object or the object's moving more than the crosshairs. I'm going to show you in the next part of the video exactly what I'm talking about. And by the way, once you've got your telescope in focus, you should not touch this knob again for the remainder of the experiment. Okay, this is unfortunately going to be a little bit hard to see, but I've got the camera pointed down the telescope right now, and you can see a tree upside down inside that black circle. You can also see the crosshairs on the telescope, so I'm going to move the telescope back and forth a little bit, and just you can see that the crosshairs move with the telescope, not with the tree. They're a little bit hard to see. The vertical one is probably the best one to focus on. If it looks like there's more than one horizontal line, that's because unfortunately I've got some power lines in there. So focus on that central vertical line of the crosshairs. I've got it sitting on top of the tree right now. And at this point, you will have adjusted the eyepiece such that your crosshairs look in sharp focus. And then you will have adjusted the knob on the side of your telescope to adjust the focus so that the tree itself also looks in focus. Now that may not be good enough. So this is the technique that you're supposed to use to get exactly the right focus. What you do is you wiggle your head back and forth. So I'm going to wiggle the camera back and forth. So you go back and forth a little bit. And what you should see when everything is perfectly focused is that the crosshairs and the tree don't seem to move relative to each other. So when you wiggle your head back and forth, the crosshairs and the tree seem to move back and forth in sync. If I focus this a little bit wrong, which I just did now, the tree may still look in focus to you. But when you wiggle back and forth, you're either going to see the line moving more than the tree or the tree moving more than the line. So right now that line, that vertical line is moving more than the tree does when I wiggle the camera back and forth. So that means I'm not quite at the right focus yet. If I go too far in the other direction, which I just did now, and wiggle the camera back and forth, now it looks like the tree is moving more than the line is. So when you've got things exactly focused, the line of the crosshairs and the tree, the distant background that you're looking at, are going to seem to move in sync. So again, I'll try and set that up. It's a little hard to do through the camera. And when I wiggle back and forth now, the tree and the line basically move in sync with one another. So that's the perfect focus. That's what you're trying to get.